Hey y'all, just wanted to update you um, post sport jujitsu tournament like I said I would. So uh, it was a whole weekend of jujitsu and other martial arts classes which was pretty badass and lots of good teachers, lots of good people to work out with. I had a lot of fun there. I met a lot of cool people and finished up on Sunday um, with a sport jujitsu tournament which is what I was building up for and um, everything turned out pretty solid so uh, like I told you in the previous videos it was gonna be an interesting situation because I didn't have a coach um, didn't have sparring partners didn't even have a gym to work out at or anything so I sort of was using the event as an experiment um, to see how well I could formulate a game plan on my own uh, see how well I could visualize an opponent and put it into practice in real life and also uh, preparation body wise right with strength conditioning cardio diet and all that and everything held up great to ask for um went about as good as could be expected right so i ended up having two fights um, one opponent was my same size he was 170 pounds i actually ended up weighing 170.0 so my diet plan was just right on point which is awesome uh, the second opponent came in weighing at 200, so a little bit of a difference there, but nothing I was going to worry about. I was just going to stick to my game plan and see what happens. Um, <clears throat> so four rounds total, uh, two opponents. I won all four rounds and ended up with this, this shiny thing right here. It's pretty cool. Um, I think that overall it turned out pretty solid. I was happy with how it went. Um, definitely an eye-opener after the fact because there are things that I was hoping would happen that didn't and things that of course come at you that are a little bit unexpected but that's the nature of the beast and um, got some video footage that I'm currently reviewing and it's helpful because I can see adjustments that need to be made for next time to be more successful right so that's that's cool um, overall though preparation was great uh, the strength and conditioning program I built ahead of time turned out great muscles held up no problem didn't feel burnt hardly at all um, cardio was I was hoping to go way overkill for an event like this and I definitely succeeded so I was not breathing too hard at all just broke a little bit of sweat feeling good overall so um, body held up great and like I had mentioned before I didn't have sparring partners or coach or any people to drill with or anything like that so it came down a lot to visualization so a lot of uh, imagination there with my shadow boxing and my meditation and everything to try to imagine what the opponents would look like and move like and how I would react and take the initiative and so on and it turned out um, pretty good I think that uh, I was well prepared and I felt good during it the only little bit of casualty I got was uh, at one point during the eh, about the beginning of my second fight, I had jammed my toe pretty good on his knee. And at the time, I didn't even realize it. I just felt my foot go numb and figured I would take care of it later. But uh, now it's a pretty gross looking situation. Um, it'll be a little bit of a rehab process there, right? But I don't think anything's broken, which is good. And um, I think the other side of the equation when it comes to martial arts is not just breaking people down with technique but also learning how to heal um, if you are into dzr jiu-jitsu this is a huge aspect of it the healing arts and this is a good opportunity for me to keep you on the loop as i fix my foot right so look forward to um, content that involves rehabbing yourself after injury and of course if you can prehab yourself and prevent injury that's the best way to go but sometimes these things happen so you got to figure it out all right um look forward to some videos coming up I'll likely do some sort of highlight video of just the more interesting parts of the fight and then also I plan on posting the two fights in their entirety with a little bit of commentary to explain what I did well what I could have done better what my opponents did well what they could have done better and all that sort of stuff hopefully it's something you find interesting all right thanks for your time let me know if you guys have any questions take care